Hi everybody. I thought I'd shoot a quick video of the RC Powers F22 version 2 that I made out of Dollar Tree foam board. I have about 10 flights on this plane and I'll let you know what I learned about Dollar Tree foam board. Uh, after about the third flight I noticed the vertical stabilizer was broken right there. Uh, so I added these dowel rods, epoxied those in place. That took care of that problem. Uh, let's see on the bottom. Got a growling servo. I've been having quite a time with these giant elevators. Uh, the first flights I did, I did with the Elevon Taileron mix with just two servos and what I had happen was uh, first of all it broke right here in the leading edge of the elevator so I once again added some dowel rods to beef that up, epoxy those in place uh, I've got a rod running across here and here added one over here and then after about the sixth or seventh flight I noticed I had breakage right here by the control horn uh, so I beef that up with just gobs of uh, fiberglass tape. Um, now uh, what I'm going to do with my next flights is I'm going to fly this conventionally with ailerons and elevators in the normal configuration. It flew just fine with the tailerons. See we're going with this type of an arrangement. Pretty conventional. I'm going to give that a try. Um, the Dollar Tree foam board, if you decide to use that, I left the paper on, which probably was a mistake. Uh, when you paint it, I painted it with this Krylon H2O. I warmed it with warm water, the can, to uh, help the paint dry a little better. Uh, basically what ends up happening is when you put the paint on to the foam board with the paper on, it lifts the paper. So I have added tape everywhere, which has actually been working out pretty well. Um, I just used some acrylic paint, hobby paint, for adding some color, which actually is not necessary because when this thing flies it looks about twice the size of what it does just sitting here. Um, Grayson Hobby Supersonic pushes this plane along nice. Uh, the hatch, uh, I just have one magnet and then that attaches to a, I just hot glued a old knife blade there which works quite well for a hatch. Kind of added some popsicle sticks here and there to beef it up. Um, about all I can think of right now uh, if you're thinking about doing one of these planes, don't think about it. Just download the instructions and the plans and cut them out and build one and just go out and fly it. The thing is easy as heck to fly. Just give it a toss. The side toss method works great. Uh, yeah, just give it a try. I'll uh, be posting maybe another video after uh, after I figure out how it flies with just ailerons and elevators. Thanks for watching.